Ladies and gentlemen, a new snapshot is out for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17, the Caves and Cliffs update. In this video, we're going to talk about all the technical changes that relate to resource packs, data packs, custom world generation, that type of stuff. If you're interested in the gameplay changes, I have a main update video up for that. It'll be in an iCard on the video, and you can also find a link in the video description if you want to take a look at that first. With that said, let's get into the news in 21W07A, starting with the new types. Of course, the Grimstone blocks have been added, a whole slew of them. None of them have any block entities, but of course there are recipes, advancements, block models, textures and so on for them. I want to talk more about the added things directly for those in particular in this video, since they are run-of-the-mill kind of things. Let's talk about tags though, because there are some tags that have had these items added to them. The base stone overworld block tag now by default contains grimstone. The slabs block and item tags now contains all the grimstone slabs. The stairs one contains all the stairs and the walls one contain all the walls. Also stone crafting materials and stone tool materials by default now contain grimstone. And that leads us to custom worlds. Custom worlds has seen some fairly major changes in this version. The new ore distribution has been implemented in every vanilla overworld biome. That means that the following changes apply. The vanilla configure features for coal and iron have been split into two parts. They are called their previous name followed by underscore upper or underscore lower to represent the two different segments. There is a new lapis configured feature as well. It's called ore lapis buried and those changes have been applied to every single overworld biome. The Glow Lichen feature now lists Grimstone as a valid block, and there are lots of ranges and counts that have been tweaked in the ore files for the ore distribution. Now, let's get into the format changes themselves. There's a new field in Noise Settings, and it's Grimstone enabled, and it's a boolean, and of course that is on by default in the overworld configurations in vanilla. There are changes to the range feature decorator configuration. It used to have a bottom offset, a top offset, and a maximum fields. They have all been removed and been replaced with a bottom inclusive and top inclusive field, which specify the bottom and the top coordinate, respectively, where the feature can be generated. This is not a value, this is a new type. So when writing it in a file, you write an object there rather than a value. This object can be one of three things, depending on which field you put in it. It can be absolute, which specifies an absolute Y value, just like you would before, but it can now also be above underscore bottom, which specifies an offset above the minimum Y coordinate of the world that is being generated, or below underscore top, which specifies an offset below the maximum Y coordinate of the world being generated. The biased versions of the ranged decorators have also changed. The ranged biased feature decorator is now called range biased to bottom. The range very biased feature decorator is now called range very biased to bottom. Both these biased types of ranges now have bottom inclusive and top inclusive, just like range stuff. Both of them now also have a value called cutoff, and that is a numeric value. The Depth Average Decorator now also has its baseline field converted to such a vertical anchor instead of an absolute Y value. A whole range of decorators no longer exist or have had parts of their functionality replaced by using some of the already existing generic decorators. That includes the Dark Oak Tree Decorator that no longer does a height map check, which is done with a height map decorator instead. The End Gateway Decorator has been split and has now used a combination of Chance, Square and Height Map Decorator. The glowstone blob feature no longer does its own decoration, instead it is used with a combination of square and range. If you want a reference to this, you can look at the glowstone extra file in the vanilla pack. The lava lake feature has also been split. It is now used with chance, square and ranged biased to bottom. And you can see the lava lake file for an example of this. The water lake decorator has been removed. The vanilla files replace this with a combination of chance, square and range. The Emerald Ore Decorator has also been removed, it is now instead a count, square and range. And the Fire Decorator has been removed, it is now instead range, square and count. And the Carving Mask no longer has a probability field, that is replaced with combining it with a chance decorator. That was a whole slew of things. In summary, if you have your own custom features, 
with customized versions of these specialized decorators, then you might need to update those. Otherwise, the main thing is that some of the ores have changed names or split, and that there's a new Grimstone enabled Boolean in noise configurations. And that was the slew of world configuration changes that was done in 21W07A. I hope you kept up through that barrage and I hope you found it somewhat useful. If you did, please help me out in return, leave a like, share this video to an equally nerdy friend, and why not post a comment down in the comments field below. That's it for me for this time. My name is Slime. thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.